Hey, what's going on Empire Builders? Today's video, I'm showing you a business that makes millions of dollars a year selling toasters. Now, before we get going, guys, those of you that are brand new here to the e-commerce empire builders, I want to give you a huge, huge, huge welcome. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and most importantly, today's giveaway winner is getting our e-commerce empire starter pack completely for free, so all you have to do to enter is drop a comment down below on today's video. But guys, I have been seeing so many influencers, so many TikToks, YouTube videos on this company called Revolution Toaster. So the company is actually called Revolution cooking um, their websites revcook.com you guys can check it out but I've been seeing this toaster ever I don't know about you guys but I've been seeing them TikTok, YouTube uh, Instagram all over the place and I don't know why I'm not in the market for a toaster uh, by by any means at all but here's the thing this toaster has like a cool very unique uh, thing to it so let's head over to YouTube and I show you guys real quick kind of the style of influencer marketing that they're really doing here because they're doing it really really smart and you can do the same exact thing for you your new or existing e-commerce, dropshipping business, or whatever online business that you're running because the power of influencer marketing is absolutely insane, okay? So let's just take a look here. So this is just like a, a TikTok, Instagram reel that they did. And essentially what this toaster can do is essentially, if Elon Musk designed a toaster, this is probably what it would look like, right? Essentially, it's just a way, 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 way over-engineered uh, uh, toaster that can do a whole bunch of stuff like, you know, selecting the kind of bread that you want, you know, how toasted you want it. And it's just basically, you know, a $300 toaster, exactly what you would expect, right? It looks like it's from the future or something like that. Now, here's the thing right? There, this isn't the only video. I mean, there is so many videos out there on this toaster. So now I don't know the inner workings of, you know, the Revolution toaster or what they're doing, how they're marketing. But what I can tell you is that they are heavily leveraging influencers. So here's what I'm thinking they're doing is that are they're reaching out to these personal brands, they're reaching, reaching out to them on info, uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like we're, we're showing you right here, and sending them pretty much these toasters for, for pretty much free or, you know, at a very uh, heavily discounted rate in exchange for them to make promotional videos for them. Them, right think about it look at all these assets that are now created for revolution toaster they can use these for their own content use these for, for their branding right and all sorts of stuff and the best part about this uh, product is that it has that really mass appeal to it to make it go viral right like when have you ever seen a toaster that has like such insane appeal like this like it's from the future right so it's a really really cool toaster and this really uh you know sparked an interest for me to flip this camera on and kind of like show you guys like what they're doing and kind of do it on the fly okay so first step top of funnel what they're doing heavily influencer marketing um, I didn't go and look at their paid advertising too much but I can assume if we go on Facebook ad library that they're doing some basic retargeting ads maybe some cold traffic stuff uh, you know targeting specific niches out there okay so heading over to their actual landing pages so their main website or the main landing page is this this is their probably their their best kind of like product here uh, let's go take a look at their home page kind of like what that looks like right so let's see it's not just a toaster it's a revolution so it looks like this is their only actual product that they're actually selling here for for right now right so it's not just a toaster it's a revolution awesome <laughs> so uh simple intelligent high speed toast you love that you love to toast okay cool uh here's the thing you know when i immediately got on this page right i love like the the imagery the videos that they have on the background but you know what it's missing for me? That Apple feel, right? So let me let me go to, uh, let me show you guys what I mean. Apple.com, all right, we'll go to Apple.com and I wanna show you guys what their landing pages look like because they, terrible example, of course they have like a, some sort of cartoon uh, on here right now, but uh, like let's say if we go to the one of the iPhone sales pages that they're doing, right? The iPhone 12, right? Like look, when we, I love studying Apple's landing pages because they have the best offer stack images like everything is so over engineered and it's just so beautiful like we can learn all of us from so much from just looking at the landing pages that they're doing because they're so simple yet so effective so check this out right very very simple there's a, this is the landing page for this iphone 12 i guess that came out nice uh, graphics right look at how premium this looks 
right? Look at the premium imagery that they're using here for, for their products, right? I love their offer stack images uh, that they have and their sales pages are just always so, so clean and crisp, right? And they have a ton of these out here, guys. I definitely recommend anytime they do a new product launch, they always like make them, like look at this one. Like it's, it looks like you're just stepped into a movie, right? Like it, it's, it's an amazing landing page and they just do such a good job on it. And that's what I'm seeing that's missing here, right? If they took that same kind of like brand approach to this toaster, like to me, it kind of looks cheesy, right? Like it kind of looks a little bit corny, right? Like I get, we get it. It makes toast, right? Like all that, but like, like look at the lifestyle like this has, right? It just has such a more high perceived value to it. Not to say that the, the, the toaster doesn't have high perceived value. It definitely does. They're crushing and they're making millions selling, you know, over-engineered toasters. But compared to like the branding that like a, that an iPhone here has, right? They could do the same here, right? Cause they could, this is, looks like a very high quality product, very expensive product, obviously costing $300 for, for a toaster. Um, so little things that, you know, they could put in here, they could just model what Apple's already doing to make it look really, really premium. And to me, it just looks like it really is just like a basic kind of like, you know, Shopify theme that they're, that they're kind of using here, which is kind of upsetting to me. Right, to, that, that's what's kind of upsetting to me that they could do just such a better job uh, on the on the branding of this page is to really, really highlight it just like Apple does here for for literally like all the ton of different products that, that Apple has. So I definitely recommend guys go check out Apple.com. I mean their product photography is bar none the best. Their offer stack images, their renders, like imagine like this with the toaster, right? Just like picture this page, but like with the toaster, you know, uh, with nice pictures, renders of it, right? It would just like look so much better in in my opinion, and that's what I recommend them do I mean this theme that they're using here is just not that great right so this is a one product kind of like e-commerce uh, store which which is nice that's a testament to the power of focusing on just one thing right a lot of us that start businesses right we think oh we need more products we need more winning this winning that when in reality all you need is to be really good at one thing and just be really 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 good at it and that's how it's gonna separate yourself from the competition and make or actually create you a business so here's their main landing page for for this product again I'm not gonna keep harping on like the kind of Apple but they could do such a better job with this kind of like product photography that they have here this kind of stuff is just like eh, it's like not even look look it's like it's not even like a good-looking pick right so a couple little things again design is just not it's just like a basic theme here right like imagine this page kind of more sleek just like these Apple kind of pages here uh, and how much better uh, they would make the customer feel because that's what you're doing right when you look at Apple and the branding that they do for other products they, they sell a feeling guys they're not selling a superior product right like you know we, we can all use a phone to call using any any company that makes phones right they're selling a feeling right they're selling a lifestyle and this is where I'm seeing it's missing, right? Like, look, how, who wouldn't want to buy this, right? Like, it just looks amazing. It looks, you know, it feels like something you want to be part of. But here it's like, okay, it, it kind of just doesn't have that cool, you know, appeal to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, coming down here to the review second. So they, cool, they have like a, some some reviews here. I'd like to see, okay, the, here they have one with an actual customer photo in here. It would be nice if they encouraged their customers to kind of send these uh, a little bit more. They have a one-star review here. Nice to see that they actually respond to these things. So, right. A couple, you know, haters on, on on the reviews, which you know it's bound to happen. But it's always nice that the company actually responds to them, right? It makes it look obviously, you know, legit, right? Any company that has like all five star reviews and never has a negative review, you know, be be kind of weary of that. And go same goes for your business. Don't always be scared of negative reviews like this, guys. Right? Use it as, as a way to actually educate your customers. So if this somebody, you know, is saying hey, they're complaining about the voltage or whatever it might be, right? Show by actually responding to them. Customers appreciate that. Right? Right? So this person's obviously, you know, just hating on them saying it's not revolutionary at all or whatever they're, they're saying in here. Um, so they, they obviously respond to them, right? So actually respond to people that give you helpful feedback, right? So negative reviews on your product isn't a bad thing. Don't be scared of it. Don't run away from it. Use it as a way to actually help your business, right? Maybe there's something that's wrong and, you know, multiple customers have repeatedly said, hey, there's an issue here with the product. Well, you should probably fix it, don't you think, right? So that's just like one thing that, you know, I, I see in the industry is a lot of people are scared of negative reviews. We're all gonna get negative reviews on our businesses, guys. It's just part of it and just deal with them, right? Because they will come up. You're never gonna please everybody, okay? So coming out, they have like a, their offer here at the top, free shipping and a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's okay, right? Like, again, I just think if they really focus 
just on the uh, on the on the apple appleizing it or whatever you want to call it that it would just be a lot better um, so coming into their bullet points say goodbye to slow and burnt and dry bagels English muffins toast waffles and pastries insta glow so they named so this is actually a testament uh, to to naming something right so they called this insta glow heating system heats up fast searing the bread without uh, drying it so it's crunchy on the outside yet soft and delicious on the inside so this is a testament to naming your product something right because if you don't name it something like it doesn't have to be like crazy revolutionary me and jordan actually had an interview about talking about product names uh we'll leave it in the corners of, uh, of this video and like how it goes into naming different product descriptions maybe you're struggling with again we'll leave it in the corners of this video make sure to go check out that that piece of content after after you watch this but having a name for something increases the perceived value of it right even if it's just insta glow right like who cares right but it, it, it in in the eyes of the consumer that isn't necessarily a marketer like all of us are right insta glow sounds cool it sounds revolutionary it sounds unique it sounds like oh man like that it, it sounds like you know higher perceived value right that's exactly what they're doing i recommend you do the same for for your kind of like your products that you're selling as well don't just call it a fishing lure catch call it like you know a bass you know a smasher or whatever whatever it might be or all along those lines right so insta glow cool kind of name for for whatever their, their technology has in here and then it looks like they kind of go into a little bit of the logic 63 precise settings and three easy taps uh, for the perfect level of toastiness and no double toasting needed um, and then their order bump here that they have is at an additional four-year warranty for $50 okay so let's see what happens at the add to car I'm assuming it's just gonna go you know add, add to car and then we'll have to go to the actual cart page here and then we have our checkout page here um, looks like they have the, uh, the opt-in create account so it's just like a basic this isn't Shopify but they're basically using just a, uh, a normal Shopify store no order bumps on this page so you know missed missed opportunities here guys um, so I am actually going to purchase this this toaster guys I'm actually gonna purchase this toaster and do an actual review on it for you guys if you want to see this and kind of consider a part two to this video go follow me at Peter Pru official I'm gonna be sharing kind of my experiences with with this toaster uh, for you guys to, to kind of check out and see if it's actually as revolutionary as as they say it is uh, so go follow at Peter Pru official I'll be posting it on on the stories there when this video comes out okay so guys if you enjoyed this today's video you learned something cool that you can implement into your own business make sure to drop a comment down below let us know right that's also going to get you entered into win our free e-commerce empire starter pack and again if you got some value from me i helped you out in any way shape or form with this piece of content today make sure to smash that like button lets me know to create more content similar to this one which are kind of like fun to do they're a little bit different and most importantly smash that subscribe button as well guys we're on the road to 100 000 subscribers this year it's my like biggest goal this year and i hope you uh can help me on hitting that goal that i've set out for the whole team here at the e-commerce empire builders but guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and remember your empire starts now